Hi, it's Dr. Parikh. Now we're going to talk about how to do a present study draft. So this is one of the first things you're really writing for your, um, for your research proposal. Um, even though you're still finishing up your literature review, you're starting to think about how you're going to switch gears to talk about your research study. So this section goes right at the end of your literature review. It gets a bolded heading over to the left, just like, um, so you would do the present study and then you would start with an indented paragraph that's not bold and you would just type like normal. Um, so it gets a heading just like your themes um, and it's very formulaic. You really just kind of write, you fill in each one and you can make sure they kind of flow from one to the other because this outline I mean, I don't even call it a, an outline, I call it a draft because that's what it is. This is the paragraph. Um, and you're really, again, you're taking that idea of a funnel and you're starting broad and you're getting more and more specific. And then you're finally at the end actually proposing a specific research. So first you're gonna summarize the findings of past research. So what has been found in the past? Um, you're gonna point out the gap. So you're gonna say like, okay, they've done all this, but they haven't done this other thing. Um, so then you're gonna say, what is the purpose of your study? Um, you're gonna talk about what your study is doing. Um, you wanna then specifically mention, and this can feel kind of repetitive, but you're gonna say how your study is going to add to the field, how it's gonna add more information, more knowledge to this literature. And then finally, you specifically clearly state what your hypothesis or research question. I don't force you to choose a side, um, although that's what most students do. Um, so you can say either, you can pose it as a question, is there a difference between these two? Um, or you can make a prediction saying there will be a difference and you can even predict uh, one will be higher than the other if you want. Uh, and I have from down here, um, I got from a lovely book, I use it when I teach experimental psych, uh, Discovering the Scientist Within Research Methods in Psychology. It has a cute little puppy on the front wearing glasses, puppies in glasses, silliness. Um, and so it show, and I've copied exactly the comments that are from the book. So this is exactly as if you're looking at the book page, these are not my ideas and my comments. Um, and it goes through and says, and the only thing I've added is I've marked section by section. So when I say section one, um, they're doing the thing that I tell you to do right up here in section one. Um, the present study, it's a fairly straightforward article or paragraph. Um, students generally do pretty well with it. One thing to remember is that you're using future tense. So you're saying um, will or um, I guess you use present tense in terms of this researcher predict, the researcher predicts. You're also gonna use, you're gonna stay third person. Um, now, not everyone does this. Um, some articles you read will say we or I, and some professors you have may tell you to use we or I. Um, I predict, I hypothesize. But for this paper, I want you to use third person um, for reasons. Um, I want you to, so I want you to learn how to write using third person, knowing that in the future you, it, it's reasonable to consider using first person language. Um, and it's always good to check in with professors to see, cause every professor is a little different. We all have our quirks. We all have our ideas about what works. And part of it is we're all in slightly different parts of psychology. And so the norms might be different for the kinds of research that we do. Um, this should, again, this is usually a fairly easy step in the process for students, especially by now you've done so much writing. This probably feels pretty easy, actually. So enjoy this as a reasonably easy assignment. I look forward to reading it and seeing where you're going with your article. Thanks. Bye.